Yes, it is me, Market Vendor, here again today. But listen, as it is the Lenten season, and this is the season not only of Lent, but the season of Easter coming up too as well. And as this is Holy Week, I have one here for you today, a little bit on the lighter side, a Lenten season joke. <laughs> repent, repent, oh, virgin sinner. <laughs> now, there was a major house painter named Theophilus. Theophilus did, I believe, it is from St. Lucy, who was very interested in making a penny wherever he could. The man was an entrepreneur and he had a good business head. He understood margins and profit. So he often used to thin out the paint so that he could make it go a little bit further. What that also did for Theophilus was to make sure that he was very competitive. As it happened, he got away with that for a fairly long time. Eventually, though, a well-known church heard about, you know, his, his, his services and the prices that he had. You know, a well-known church by the side of the road. And they decided to do a big restoration job on the outside of one of the buildings and to call in Theophilus, the painter, to get the job. Theophilus put in his bid and, of course, he lowballed all the others so that, you know, his price was the lowest and so he got the job. Well, Theophilus set about now, you know, erecting all the scaffolding and setting up the planks and that kind of stuff. He went by a well-known paint manufacturer, yeah, and buy the paint in bulk, and yes, I'm sorry to say it, he also started to thin out the paint, thinner as a water, whatever he had to use. Unfortunately, though, for Theophilus, he started this job in the rainy season. It didn't like know where everything brown and everything dry and scarcely a sprinkle of rain and all you got is dust and ash and smoke and that kind of stuff. No, he started during the rainy season and it was a particularly rainy season too as well. One day, boy, let me tell Theophilus up on the scaffolding, painting away, man. Brush in hand, painting away. The job nearly complete. And then all of a sudden, the sky started to get real dark. And next thing you know, they had a clap of thunder and some lightning. The sky opened up and the rain pelt down like the whole town canal during a heavy rain. <laughs> Washing off all the thin out paint off of the church. Theophilus get not clear off of the scaffolding. He lamp on the backside on the lawn among the gravestones, narrowly missing, you know, escaping serious injury to his body, surrounded by all the telltale puddles of the thin out and useless paint. Well, Theophilus jump up, boy, number 10. He is so frightened. Theophilus is a fool, you know, huh? He knew that this was judgment from the Almighty. So he get down on his knees and he cried out, Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, forgive me. What should I do? And from the thunder, a mighty voice spoke out. You're going to love this one. It says, <laughs> Theophilus, repent, repent. <laughs> and sin <thin> no more. <laughs> oh Lord, like I said, it is war for the season. <laughs> repent, repent, and sin no more. Market vendor go for now. You have a blessed and a wonderful day. Yeah. <laughs>